Good morning. This is where one of those two firefighters in critical condition was airlifted yesterday. We're told he remains critically injured and has been intubated. The explosion of a compressed natural gas tank on a semi truck yesterday morning in Wilmington was so intense it actually sent LA City firefighters flying. Nine of them injured in the blast, and again, two left in critical condition. Their injuries ranging from severe burns to trauma from the impact. Doctors who viewed the footage after treating the patient said they were amazed that more weren't seriously injured. And frankly, it's remarkable that none of them were more severely injured after watching the footage. I'm reminded of how heroic our members are and that each and every day they are putting themselves in harm's way to provide an incredible level of expertise and professionalism. It's just going to be for a few hours. And it is a reminder that for firefighters, there are no routine calls. The explosion was felt for blocks around, sending some people running, thinking it had been an earthquake. And last night, nearby neighborhoods and some businesses were temporarily evacuated until that second fuel cylinder could be safely removed from the scene. Now, this morning, we are expecting to learn more about the injured firefighters from L.A. City Fire. As for the truck driver, thankfully, she was was not injured after calling 911 to report seeing sparks coming from those tanks. She wisely stepped away. Reporting live this morning, I'm Gigi Graciette. Back to you.